tonight. Everything tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bring it before you tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bring it to you. We bring it to you. We bring it to you. By your might, by your strength, oh God, tonight we come with a consciousness as to who you are in the name of Jesus. We come knowing that you are God and you're God all by yourself. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, tonight we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you the honor tonight, uh, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. Jesus, tonight. Tonight, God, tonight, 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 not tomorrow, not next week, tonight. Uh, meet with your people tonight in the name of Jesus. Meet with them tonight, mighty God. We come tonight with a consciousness, God, that you are God and you're God all by yourself. You're God all by yourself. Uh, Lord, right now, take full control. Uh, in the name of Jesus, take full control. Uh, take control of everything, God, every single thing. Oh, God, purge us tonight and come and tabernacle with us tonight, Jesus. Come and tabernacle with us tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before you tonight by your strength. We come to you tonight, God, with a consciousness that you're God and you're God all by yourself. And there is none like you, Jesus. So, Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the praise tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, it is no good thing that we have done, that you have given us an opportunity like this to be in your presence one more time. And so, God, we glorify you. We say thank you, Abba Father. We say thank you you abba father in the name of jesus uh, let everything that is not of you be removed from us now uh, let everything mighty god uh, every disappointment be removed uh, every lap be removed everything be removed uh, in the name of jesus come oh god uh, and meet with us tonight uh, in the name of jesus uh, in the name of jesus uh, let your name be exalted let your name be lifted up let you be glorified tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we give you the praise uh, that is due unto your matchless name. Uh, God, we give you the glory tonight. Uh, Lord, we shut off everything that is not of you. Uh, and tonight, God, as we come, we come crying, Abba, Father. Lord Jesus, have your way in this place. Uh, every need must be met and every tongue will confess uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Uh, mighty God, tonight Jesus uh, as we come we come with a conscious state that we are nothing without you, Jesus. Uh, that we are nothing without you, Lord. Uh, and so we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will be exalted. Uh, you will be exalted, oh God. Uh, from I, uh, you will be exalted. Uh, that you will be glorified. That you will be exalted. That you will be lifted up uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, tonight take full control uh, of this place. Uh, Take full control uh, of the people on the line. Uh, take full control uh, of every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, uh, every person within the sound of my voice. Uh, and in the name of Jesus, uh, no weapon form against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises in judgment, we condemn it tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, we come tonight to petition your throne, uh, to intervene on our behalf. Uh, we come tonight, God, knowing that we are nothing without you. We cry, Abba, Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, have your way in this place. Lord, have your way. By your grace and your mercy tonight, God, we surrender everything to you. Lord, we pray that tonight, they said two or three again, are touching anything concerning you, uh, that you're in the midst, oh God, uh, and we pray tonight, God, uh, that you will tabernacle with us tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you will meet with us tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we pray tonight, oh God, uh, that you will have your way in this place. Uh, I feel like praying for somebody tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, somebody's going through something tonight, God, uh, that they need you to intervene 
Avina. Tonight is the last night, oh God. And if you don't show up tonight, like you show up, you show up for Peter. They're planning to take his head in the morning. Somebody tonight, God, needs a visitation. Somebody tonight, God, needs an escape. They need an escape tonight in the name of Jesus. And Lord, tonight we cry unto you in the name of Jesus. Lord, God, Jesus, please remember us tonight. Come by here, Lord, tonight in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs a visitation, Lord. <coughs> Somebody needs a visitation, Jesus. Mm. Somebody need you, Lord. Somebody need you. Somebody need you. Lord, they capture Peter and they put him in the prison and they plan to kill him the day after they celebrate. Somebody was celebrating and planning the demise of another. But he who sits high and look low, laugh at the plans of men. Tonight, God, we are here crying to you because this is the last night. We can't go on any further. Somebody tonight has been chained to their past and their future don't look bright. The people around them are not with them. So they're stuck in the middle of a rock and a hard place. Tonight, Jesus, somebody on this life is at a place where they're crying out, Abba, Father, have mercy. Somebody tonight, God, he says, pass me not. Oh, gentle Savior, somebody tonight is saying, Lord, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Somebody tonight is saying, Lord, I need a touch. Lord, I need an escape. Somebody saying tonight, Lord, I have tired all year and caught nothing. Lord, I might be washing my net, but I'm about to throw in the towel. Somebody tonight is saying, Lord, help me. Help me. My family is in trouble. My marriage is in trouble. My job is in trouble. My finance is in trouble. Lord, you said in your word that we shouldn't pray for finance. We shouldn't pray for clothes. We shouldn't pray for food because your earthly father, your heavenly father knows that you have need of these things. But tonight, God, we say, Lord, send help from your holy place. Uh, send help uh, from your mountain. Uh, Lord, we will look to the hill uh, from whence cryeth our help. Uh, our help come from you, Lord. Uh, Lord Jesus, uh, help tonight for somebody. Uh, somebody need you, Lord. Uh, they need your attention, Lord. Uh, they need you. Uh, they need you. Uh, there is a burden uh, in this place. Uh, somebody need a touch. Uh, Somebody need your God, Lord Jesus. Lord, come by here tonight, Jesus. We assign angels to go forth and do what needs to be done, Jesus. We need a shift. Somebody need a shift. Somebody's child is acting up again. Somebody's spouse is acting up again. But Lord Jesus, send help tonight, not tomorrow. Tomorrow might be too late. Send it tonight, Jesus. Yes, our Father, we're crying to you. We need your attention. We need your attention. Jesus, send help tonight. We need you, Lord. Tonight we do. Tonight we do. Tonight we do. Tonight we do. The Bible says, Paul, 
and Silas were shut up in the prison. And when midnight came, they started to sing, Saturate me with your anointing. And they were singing, Lord, in the middle of the night. And they realized that there was something happening. And they sing a little louder. Saturate me in your presence. And they kept on singing. And the more they sing, they heard a rumbling and a rumbling until the bonds became loose. Every chain was loose and every door was open. Tonight, God... There are some people on this line uh, who have been chained to their past. Uh, they have been chained to the present uh, and the future don't look well. Uh, and the people around them uh, are not their friends. Uh, Lord, tonight, uh, if you don't show up, uh, they don't have any help. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Jesus, we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Ah, come by here, Lord. Abba, Abba, we need you. Abba Father, we need you. Jesus says when we pray, say Abba Father. Well, Abba, we cry this night to you. Lord, come by here. Come by here, Lord. It is nothing good that we have done. You say, come unto me, all who labor, and I'll give you rest. He said, call unto me and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Lord, tonight, God, we are calling unto you. We are calling unto you. We are calling unto you. Jesus, come by here. Come by here, Lord. Come by here, Jesus. Come by here, Lord. Come by here. Come by here, Lord. Come by here. Come by here. Come by here, Lord. Sister Sonia Johnson, please pray. Please pray, Sister Johnson. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come by here, Lord. Come by here. Pray. Mm. I should pray. Pray. Please pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Ah. 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 Mama ma shiki telebi siki telebi shakundo aya ya da 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 ba shakundo lobo seke makuto lobo sa ya da 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 ba shakundo lobo seke telebi se makundo lobo sha ya ya da ba shakundo lobo seke te mama shiki telebi sando lobo saka mama shiki telebi sando lobo kata sister Abigail please pray makundo lobo sheke Jesus, Maya Nalaba Shokoto, Jesus. that are ahead. Mighty God, we cry out, O oh, Abba Father, we need your help, we need, O oh, God, have mercy upon our sinful souls and body. We cry out, mighty God, for your mercies. We pray for blood coverage, mighty God. We cancel every attack of the enemy. We bind up every accident, every incident, every diabolical spirit, mighty God. We shoot down every forces of darkness this mighty God of Daniel, every plan of the enemy, mighty God, it is scattered. Mighty God, we cry out and we ask, oh God Almighty, Father, come forth, oh God, and release us from every chain and every bondage mm, of Jesus. the adversary, mighty Jesus. God of Daniel. 
fight against those that fight against us, mighty God. Jesus. And hold and shield and buckler and stand up for our help tonight, no one always. We pray for blood coverage over our children, mighty God. Plaster them with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, we are mere humans and humans are faulty, mighty God. But you, oh, heavenly Father, shall cleanse us and wash us as of all unrighteousness, mighty God. As David cried out unto you and said, take not thy only spirit from us, mighty God, but renew a right spirit unto us. Oh, Abba, Father, mighty God of Daniel, the enemy is like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour, mm. but mighty God, as you have told Eba us, she that, that upon this rock you have built your church, church, mighty God, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against mm. your people, ma, 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 mighty God. Oh, so, heavenly Father, <coughs> we say thank you, oh, Abba, Father, for taking us out of the pit of hell. Satan has already lost a battle. Oh, God Almighty, Father, we have taken back our children tonight. Mighty God, we take back our spouses. We take back our finances, mighty God. Mm, yes, that's it. Mind, mighty yes, God it. Daniel. That's we it. We take back our peace that the enemy mm. has stolen, mighty Jesus. God. We take back, oh God, our yes. Hope, yes. mighty God of Daniel. Yes, Who yes. Oh, God Almighty, Father, of sitting around with what belongs unto us, but mighty God. We pray for double portion tonight, mighty God of Daniel. We break the broom of every witch, sitting down with incantation with our names, mighty God of Jesus. Daniel. We send them to dry places, oh God, every evil altar. Mighty God of Daniel, some from even before we were born and stressed their altars, mighty God. But we cut off our umbilical cord tonight, mighty God, and we release of ourselves from our spiritual bondage, mighty God. We call forth, mighty God of Daniel, the chosen and profitable ministry, mighty God of Daniel. Mighty God of Daniel, I pray, oh, heavenly Father, that you plaster your blood upon this line, mighty God. We cancel every spirit of death from over our family. We cancel every spirit, mighty God of Daniel, of sickness, mighty God. We call for that deadly disease, mighty God, that call cancer. We bind you up and we send you to the pit of hell. You demon, mighty God of Daniel, we send them back to dry places. Glory, hallelujah, mighty God of Daniel. We pray for comprehensive blood coverage and we bind up every spirit of backlash and whiplash, mighty God. Take control of our dream world tonight, mighty God of Daniel. Plaster us with the blood of Jesus, oh heavenly Father. I pray, oh God Almighty Father, that whenever the enemy, mighty God, seeks us tonight, mighty God, they shall only see the blood of Jesus. Mighty God, avenge your people now, tonight, and always, mighty God. As you have told Moses to tell Pharaoh, let your people go. So we cry out, O oh, Abba Father, mighty God of Daniel, arise and let the enemy be scattered tonight, O oh God Almighty Father. I give you thanks, I give you praise, O oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Oh, Abba, Father, oh, Adonai, mighty God, your name sits above all names. Oh, Lord, you are the kings of kings and lords of lords. You are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. I give you thanks. I give you praise. I say thank you, oh, Abba, Father. Thank you, oh, God, almighty Father. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough, oh, God, Almighty Father. I give you thanks. Hey, hey hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Abba, Father. Glory. Amen okay, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name, glory to your name. <laughs> We're going to go back to some prayer, but I want to charge your hearts first for you to understand what the Holy Spirit is doing tonight. We're going to open some gates in our life because we've been binding up gates. We shut up gates. We shut up the gates. But there are some gates that you can open and control. The ones that God gives you. 
the one that God has established. But before we do that, you must learn two fundamental truths <clears throat> about who we are. Two fundamental truths. We're going to open the 12 gates of the tribe of Judah. Tribe of, the tribe of Israel. Sorry. I'm going to read two passages for you to understand what I'm talking about. Genesis 22, 16 to 18 says, And said, By myself I have I sworn, said the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy sons, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven. And as the sun which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Let's jump back to verse 17. He says, that in blessing I will bless thee. In multiplying I will multiply thee, thy seed as the stars of the heaven. And as the sand which is upon the seashore. And then on top of that, he says, Thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemy. Now we jump to Revelation 21, verses 10 to 12. It says, And he showed me a great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven, and that a great and high wall had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels and the names written thereon, the names of the tribe, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Gates in the scriptures are often symbols, symbols of authority. The king had a throne at the gates. The elders sat at the gates. Judgment were passed and sentence were carried out at the gate. To possess the gate of the enemy is to displace the enemy authority with that which is entrusted to us by Jesus Christ. Tonight, we are going to possess the gate. But here the powerful thing. We are going to do what they did in Revelation. And take our rightful place. That's right. That's right, minister. You're working. Oh, God, you're working with me tonight already. Already. Jesus says, Behold, I give unto you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That's Luke 10 verse 19. In reading this verse, you see that there can be a dual meaning to the word power. He says, And I've given you power to tread upon scorpions and or and um, scorpions and serpents, and over all the power of the enemy. Give you power to do something, and over the power of the enemy. Is Jesus saying that we will have the ability through spiritual strength to strength on all the spiritual strength of the devil? Yes. Is he saying that we have authority to Jesus' name to defeat the devil? Yes. But we must know the difference between power and authority. There is a relationship between them, but there's things that stood out between them. The Greek word that translates art as authority is exousia. And it basically means it's to have the right to rule or govern as one whose will and command must be submitted to and obey. The second Greek word is often translated as dunamis, and we've known that we know that word, we're very familiar with it. And it translates as power. It means to have inherent strength, power, or ability to bring about a desired purpose. Okay, to explain this best, I'm gonna use um a truck and a and a um <coughs> police officer. I think you've heard this example before. All right, let me see if mine is any different. No, a truck has the inherent power, and so the driver will have what we call 
dunamis power at the disposal of the accomplished to accomplish his work. The police officer, yes, as the authority, which is exosia, and so we see them. That if a truck is driving at full speed, while the police officer doesn't have the power to stop it, he has the authority to stop that vehicle. And that vehicle can come to a full stop under the authority, even though the police officer is not the one driving the truck. He has the driver has the power to drive the truck, but the police officer has the authority. You now have both. You have both of these. As Christians, we have exhausted our authority to command demons and all powers of the devil, and even under the spirit of God to speak life. But that authority is not of ourselves, it is through the power of dunamis, which is of the name of Jesus Christ. So he says, I've given you all power. That's what he said. But he shall receive what? Power, dunamis. After that, the Holy Ghost will come upon you and he shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and the uttermost part of it. Acts 1 verse 8. So it comes, the power comes to us. That's my first point. My second point is that we have the tongue our tongue. Now we have to talk about the use of our tongue. Let's start about the good side of it first. The tongue may be used for wise counsel and sound advice. Life and death, yes, is in the tongue. Proverbs 10 verse 31 says, The mouth of the righteous bring forth wisdom. 15 verse 7 says, The lip of the wise spread knowledge. What comes out of a righteous mouth is, should be wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. What comes out of a wise man, knowledge. These two things ought to be coming out of your mouth all the time. Blessed are you if you have a few people in your life who can speak wisdom and knowledge to you and who you can share it to. And blessed are you doubly if you can speak this to the people around you. Number two, the tongue can speak rebuke and reproof. Proverbs 17 verse 10 says, A rebuke impresses a man of discernment more than a hundred lashes of than a hundred lashes of fool. Let me repeat that for somebody. A rebuke impresses a man of discernment more than a hundred lashes of fool. If you find a man of understanding and you rebuke him, he will be impressed by your rebuke more than if you find a fool and beat him with a hundred lash. That is because a wise man, a man of discernment, is a man you can come and say to my friend, I think you're on the wrong path. My friend, I'm not sure what you're doing before you do it. Stop and think. And that person will listen. They will take heed to your advice. Proverbs 27 verse 6 says, Wounds from a friend can be trusted. At this point, I like the King James Version. He says, Wounds are the faithful are the wounds of a friend. Better to have a friend tell you the hard truth than to have somebody try to butter you up. Ah, oh, Jesus. Glory to God. The tongue may be used for encouragement. An anxious heart weighs a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. Oh, God. Let me say it again for somebody. An anxious heart weighs a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. Proverbs 12, verses 25. The tongue can bring healing is a tree of life. Proverbs 15 verse 4. A man's find joy in giving an up reply. And all good is a timely word. Uh, Proverbs 15 23. This is, the, this, is, this is it. This is for you now, Minister, Minister Walker. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 16 24. Ah, Jesus. I bet when you read that one, you think it's a metaphor, but it's not. It's actually real. This is one of them I want to really get into. Any medical person, a doctor or nurse, will tell you that if you talk to people who work in the professional field, they will tell you whenever there's a patient who's surrounded by positive, optimistic, caring people who build them up and affirm them, that person has a much better chance of getting better and will normally recover a lot faster. When you have patients who is off by himself and has no encouragement, 
or who's surrounded by negative, critical, pessimistic people, that person will have a much harder time to get in better under normal circumstances. Why? Because pleasant words bring health to the bone. Oh, blessed are you if you have somebody who comes along you and use words to lift you up. Double blessing are you if you are an encourager like Barnabas. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now I ask the question, how many of the words this week so far were words of encouragement? How many of your words were words to build up? How many times in the last week did you find it necessary to criticize, tear down, and destroy somebody? If you come across somebody and they did some work or did something and it was not to your suit, how did you find a good way to tell them or did you just simply say to them, I don't like this or this is not this or whatever? Did you, fi did you find anything about it to like first before you find fault? The world we live in is filled with people who tend to find fault the fastest. And when and then when we find people, it, 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 I, I, I was somewhere and somebody taught teach me this and I never left, it never left me. I was doing something. I was building a website for, for somebody. In fact, my, it was my office. I can be honest, because I mean it's not like nothing bad. It's just a lesson that I learned. And I was building the website for, for them. And uh, um, the manager, the office manager, the manager at the time came in. This is a guy who's a millionaire. He's been a millionaire for like twenty years. When I met him then, which was like five years ago, so he, so he's been a man. He's been a millionaire for nearly thirty years. And he walks into the room and he's talking to me, and he looks at the website and he says, "Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this." And I, I, I and I'm like, I'm sitting there waiting, and he's like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the feel. I get the feel where you're going, Brian. I see where you're going with this. Okay, good, good." good and then there was a part that i wrote the the um there was a young lady working with me she was the person responsible for doing the writing part the typing i was busy I, my, my focus has always been on designing stuff i design things so i have people who will whenever i'm doing certain project big project i will have people work with me to do with the the writing the reading stuff like that because i don't have time for the nick picking that comes to Find for details when it comes to, to scripts. And on a website, you have a number of things that you have to deal with. And I'm focusing on writing codes. I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm building stuff. And I'm, I'm, I have to be finding things to let it flow and such. And I'm just all up in my head doing what I'm doing. And he, he knows this because he knows the system. He, he, I didn't know he was watching me work. So he knows this. So he comes over. He's just looking at it. He's passing through and he's looking at it. And, he's, and he says to me, oh, okay. And he read it. And he stopped and he plays it in his mind. He repeats it in his mind, repeats it in his mind, repeats it in his mind. And he's, he then says to me, I find something wrong with this, but I don't know what is wrong. Give me a moment. And he, said, he sits there and he's... He's playing this in his mind, playing this in his mind, playing this in his mind. And he said, ah, I got it. And then he says, and then he repeats what was there. And then he repeats what he had as in mind. And I told the young lady, I said, write it down. And he said it. And then he says, um, this will sound a little bit more um, different because we don't want them to be feel as if we're we at no point we want them to feel as if they have to do anything. We just want them to know that we're here for them if they need us and bam bam bam. And I sit there and I listen to this guy, and at no point was his ever was he ever negative. And this changes the way it even encouraged me to do what I did. Even better. Why? Because he was there for me for a good solid 20 minutes or so. 20, 25 minutes and he was there and he became a part, he became a solution pro provider. That's what we call it, a solution provider. And so I have always worked with him. I've, we work together. We're still together. He's still my mentor and he's still teaching me stuff and whatever. And he always said, he says, listen, he always tells me certain type of people to be careful of. He said, if somebody walks up and you've done a designing, yeah, that's the truth. 
And he says, if you do anything, Brian, you're designing stuff or you're doing whatever. And the and somebody walks up and the first thing they say, oh, this is, ah, mm, wow. He says, avoid those people like the plague. And I said, why? He says, because their mind is built, is they have been feeding their mind with so much negativity that the moment they look at something, they will never, it, nothing, he says, he says, it doesn't matter what you're looking at, even if it's whatever. If you are a responsible person who takes responsible for your words, take responsible for your action, you will never just simply look at something and like change the atmosphere to a negative atmosphere. You cannot turn it to a positive atmosphere anymore. Even if it's, oh, it's okay. That person felt what you did. And I was like, wow. I was like, wow, really? And that's the thing. You, when you do, and so because of that, that flows with me. I did a design, which was it? Two days ago for somebody. And she came back and she said to me, said, ah, and she was like, she, she Kept saying things, saying things, saying things. And she's texting. She don't remember that she's not talking. Text has its own tone. So she's texting back to me. She's in the States. She's in the United States and I'm here. And she's texting me and she's saying stuff. And, and my wife is there with me. And for the entire text, she don't realize that she did not say I like it. She's telling me she doesn't. There's something about the picture. She does this. And I'm saying, okay, all right. I said, all right, I can't deal with this right now because at that same time, I took time off to, to um deal with her. Saturday was a full day for me. I did some things. Um, I did I had some work in the house that I was working on. I ministered with P P Pastor Byfield, and then I did some things, and then I was finished there, went back to do what I'm doing, stopped to do the thing for her because she needed it for to do her thing. And so with her, everything, Everything that was said was nothing there. So I said to her, then I looked, she used it. So I said, why did you use it if you were having problems? She said, no, I didn't say I didn't like it. I said, but you, I said, did you read the text? And she's like, oh my. I said, I'm, te I'm, I'm, I'm teaching you this, that you got to be careful. When you have so many things to say, don't send a text. Call the person and express yourself. And this is it. Remember this. It takes no size to criticize. No size. Anybody can sit in a critic corner and just tear somebody down. But don't be that person. Don't look at something and all you see is like, oh, that's too, oh. Mm. Don't hear somebody talking and say, oh, they have nothing to say. You, you do this and you rob yourself. You rob yourself in the sense wherein you're standing there and when you're there and you see people now become negative around you, you're wondering why. And so these are the things nobody gets. You don't get a free ride because of. And so we sit and we talk and we dwell and we do these things and so things becoming in there. <laughs> and so we, we find it like that. And, and you realize that Sometimes the problem, it, it, I always do this when persons say to me that they have a problem with something, or if I go into a room and I have a problem with something, I solve it and then I talk about it. Yeah. Been in places and I solve things. I went to my daughter's school and I saw the front that it was snowing and they didn't clear the snow in time and I grabbed the shovel and cleared it. And it did, they, everybody was like, huh? I said, then we're going to walk past it. Everybody's going to walk over it. The kids are going to walk. You're going to walk. Somebody's going to slip, slide. You don't know if ice is underneath it or whatever. And then everybody step over it because it's not your job. Then if it's not your job, whose job is it? I said, come on. My, my wife said, I shouldn't do it again. I said, okay, I won't do it again. But I, was, I did it because I was upset. Guess what? They never, it was never like that ever again. I didn't complain. I did it. I fixed it. And because I did that, they, the next time, then it never happened again. When we go there in the morning, the place is always, always clean. Why? Because I didn't become a part of the problem. I became a part of the solution. So now they, they're like, okay, you know what? Let's get this done. Become a part of the solution. Because when you do that, you, make an, you change the way people see things sometimes. Ah. Uh. I'm off topic, but you get what I'm saying. So the tongue 
the tongue may be used for witnessing to others. The lips of the righteous nourishes many. Proverbs 10 verses 21. That means that you can use your lips to help bring people to God. People sometimes won't see you, but they will remember something you said. They will. You can use your lips to give spiritual nourishment to other people. You can say a kind word that ministers to their soul, that ministers to their emotion, that ministers to their heart. Mm -hmm. Something they're going through, something you said, encourage them. Something you said, challenge them. Something you said, let them feel, feel love. Something you said, let them feel kindness. Something you said, let them feel appreciated. And that was God ministering to them in that season. And you will be amazed. You will be amazed. I remember... Um, it wasn't last, I think if it's not last year, the year before, I got a I was online and I saw a young lady that I knew back in when I was in Jamaica, like that's like many years ago. And um I saw her ministering, and so we got in touch. And she said, Daddy. And I said, What are you doing? She's always from ever since she called me daddy, I should call me papa. Whichever one she gets to. And she was saying to the people that were around her that. This is the person who held her on through the season when she was going through a rough time. And that blessed my heart. It blessed my heart. When I saw her ministering the gospel and doing things, I said, yes. I said, yes, Lord. Because many people had written her off. She has been, she'd been down. She did some things. She has been through some stuff. She was in modeling. So she had experienced some things. And so there were so many things happening. And then we met. And I had, uh, I had when I went out to minister, I had Pete, there was a group of ladies that traveled with me. All of my prayer warriors were ladies. I don't know what happened. I've always had ladies to be prayer warriors. I don't know why. <laughs> and all of my prayer warriors were always ladies. I think it's because of the lion nature, the lioness nature. And so they, she became a part of my prayer warriors and they would always be with me. And we will meet and pray and so forth and encourage them and do all those things. And it became something that they look forward to. They look forward to it because that's a place where they could be real. That's a place where they could come and just so keen what God would have them to so keen. But that season, for that moment, every week, like clockwork, Friday night, we will meet, pray for two hours, share word, do what we need to do and go and get prepared and ready and do it again next week, Friday night. And they will not miss it. And we will encourage each other no matter what was going on. And so you, your tongue can be used to witness to others. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he who wins soul is wise. Proverbs eleven thirty. That means that somebody somewhere opened their mouth and gave out the gospel. You are a Christian because somebody did that. You are here tonight because somebody used their lip to share the gospel with you. Whether it is on, on the radio, the pulpit, the television or wherever you heard it, you heard it. Whether it was a crusade, you heard it. Whether it was a convention, you heard it. Whether it was a youth meeting or a Bible study or a concert, you heard it. And that's why you're here tonight. And what you have gotten, what you have received, you will now need to impart to somebody else. You need to let somebody else know. Peter says, such as I receive, give I unto thee. So sometimes you have to understand that what you have received is the gospel. And you have to now learn to just simply share the gospel the way you know how. You don't have to be fancy. You don't have to be a sermonette. It can just simply be a Jesus love you. And I love you too. It could be the simple be a friend. It could just simply be somebody who need, maybe your lips don't need to move. Maybe you need to use your ears to sit there and listen to somebody's plight as they go through what they're going through. And then you say, listen, I've been where you are. And that's it. Because that's one of the greatest pain with many people in the world. The people don't remember this. And, and this is why it's this is why a lot of the lessons we've learned. I learned from the same that he says, listen, there are many persons who are going through stuff that they don't need you to come and show down on them. You know, one of the worst things can happen to somebody. And I've seen it happen in my field, in both of, in all of my fields. Whether I'm doing, I'm designing something for somebody or I'm 
doing my investment business or insurance or whatever, and you're working diligently. I had to tell a client today the same thing. He got, um, he got, they rejected his application for, for a policy and he was upset with me. And I said to him, no, don't do that. I said, listen, listen, I'm in your corner. If you don't get anything, I don't get pay. So why would you assume that I would sabotage your thing? And when he heard that, just that line, he got so calm. So he says, what do we do? And I said, remember when we did the application that this was a situation, that we were going to be doing it like this. And if we didn't, with no problem, we have another plan to do whatever. Sometimes you have to just be calm with people and just let them know because that's what we need to learn from God. We learn from Jesus. There are many people who said things to Jesus. Even the woman came to Jesus. Can you imagine? The woman came to Jesus and the Bible said, he answered her not a word. The word was silent. Oh God, I don't know who that is for. I just heard that in my spirit. You've been praying and you've been praying and you've been praying and God has been silent. Oh God. Mm, I felt that. No, somebody, that's for somebody. Ah, yes, 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 Minister Walker. She's been praying and praying, and Jesus, the Bible said, He answered her not a word. And then she kept, she, she fell down and worshiped. So she moved from praying to worship. Oh, God. And it's in worship. That she you now says to her, it's not meat for me to take the children's bread and give to the dogs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And give to the dog because they were called Gentile dogs. Because they were the ones in the yard. They weren't in the house. They weren't, they, they weren't, they weren't even benefit, benefiting from coming into anything noteworthy. And she said, yes, Lord, but even the dogs eat from the master's table. I don't know who this is for tonight. This is the night of change for somebody. I know it. I can sense it in the atmosphere. She said, even the dogs eat from the master's table. And he says to her at this point, he says, woman, great is thy faith. Oh, my God. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The same woman that the disciples say, send her away for she cried after us. Ah, oh, Jesus, there's somebody, you have been pressing, you have been pushing, you have been doing everything, but she moved from praying to worshiping. You have to move. There's a season, the, Solomon said there's a time and season for everything. You can pray into his presence, but to get him to move, you worship him. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I feel something kicking in my belly. I don't know who this is for, but I got to give it to you. You got to get to the place to understand that you, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sometimes it makes no sense. It makes no sense. What you're going through it makes no sense whatsoever. But God who is able... He never, ah, uh, he never, he never. We're entering it. We're going in there now. <laughs> ah, Jesus. I just saw that. I don't know. Where, I just saw it. That she, 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 she prayed her way into his presence. Mm, my God. But then she had to worship her way to her breakthrough. My God. It's in, um, Say Matthew 15. Mm. Let me go down here. I know where it is. I know where it is. I'm going there. Ah. Hey, Jesus. He says, I'm not but sent. The doctor came and she and, and she said to him, My daughter is grievously vexed. But he answered her not a word. The word was silent. Oh God. And you've been praying to the Lord for something to happen. And there is no answer. And his disciples said, sent her away. For she cried after us. I don't know how this became a us thing. But she, he, he, they said, sent her away. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the host of Israel. 
And at this point, she didn't stay back. She started to worship. Oh God, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his course with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Why? For the Lord is good and his mercies endure it to all generation. We're opening gates tonight, Bridget. We're opening gates tonight. And so she said, the scripture said that he says to her, it's not meet for me to take the children's bread and give to the dog. And she said, truth, Lord, but even the dogs eat the crumb that falls from the master's table. I don't know who it is, but is there anybody on this line where a crumb from Jesus' table is big, is sufficient for you to come right through? Right there, amen, amen. <laughs> amen. A crumb amen. from Jesus' table is <laughs> it's sufficient so to bring you through. It is sufficient to bring you to the place where you need to be. And she said, yes, Lord, the table. She said, the crumb. And she said, I don't need a slice. I don't need a loaf. Just give me a crumb. Oh, God. Oh, the Bible says that if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can tell this mountain to move over yonder. Oh, God, Jesus. Just, just, just a little bit, God. Just a little bit. I got faith that a crumb can turn my life around. I got faith that my marriage can be fixed. I got faith that my situation can be changed tonight. Just a crumb, God. Just your attention and a crumb. I got mustard seed faith, God. Oh, Lord. My God. And he says to the woman, woman, great is thy faith. If you can see a crumb and it is sufficient, Great is your faith. Is there is there any great faith on this line tonight? Mm. Are there any great faith on the line tonight? God, Jesus, help my unbelief. Oh, Who? Jesus, is there anybody tonight yes, with amen. great faith? Jesus, Father, oh, say, Father, God, Jesus. I got great faith. I said, God, just a crumb. Jesus. All it takes is a mustard seed faith to see that Jesus. the crumb is big enough. Just the mustard seed faith to say, the seed is big enough. And so she said, he says, great is thy faith. Be it unto you. Oh, I prophesied to somebody tonight. Be it unto you, even as thou wilt in the name of Jesus. Tonight, whatever it is you're believing him for, be it unto you in Jesus' name. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Be it unto you. In Jesus' name. Ah. And the scripture said he departed from thence. When what is finished, we move on. My God. <laughs> when it is finished, we move on. Mm. My God. When it is finished, we move on. Oh God, I want to open the gates now. Let me open the gates. I don't even want to talk about the tongues anymore. I'm finished with the tongue. The first gate we're opening now, are we going to walk into this thing here? Is the gate of Judah. We're going to enter his gates with praise. The scripture says that in Genesis 29, 35, it says, And she conceived again and bare a son. And she said, No, I shall praise the Lord. Therefore, she called his name Judah and left bearing. Oh, God. At the pray gate, we pray. The prayer, prayers we're going to pray. We're going to read them for you and then we're going to pray them afterwards. Listen carefully. Mm, my God. Oh, Jesus. In fact, I cannot go and read them up. I'm going to pray them. Pray with me, brethren. Pray with me. Just follow me and say amen as I pray this prayer for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, give me the grace to control the gate of Judah. At all times, in the name of Jesus, every power, every evil power that has been controlling my praise gate, tonight I come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Everything that control my praise gate, bringing murmur into my life, be bound and rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. 
Tonight, God, I stand in authority that what I bind on earth is bound in heaven. And I declare that every situation in my life that has stolen away my praise, I declare tonight every situation that has stolen away my joy and my thanksgiving, I command you to receive divine restoration now in the name of Jesus. Praise, I call you back. Joy, I call you back. Thanksgiving, I call you back. I call you back now in the name of Jesus. Everything that wanted me to be sad, I walk around being sad. I talk around being sad. I go around looking sad. But after tonight, the gates of praise are open. The gates of praise are open in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I will offer to you the sacrifice sacrifice of praise of thanksgiving uh, unto you O oh lord who i bring uh, all my audience help us to me uh, bring them to me god uh, to help me praise you uh, bring them to me uh, to help me exalt you uh, bring them to me uh, to lift you up uh, in the name of jesus uh, as i lift up holy hands unto you uh, let these hands be strong uh, and sufficient unto me uh, bringing in the abundance of blessing uh, that will sustain me and my whole soul uh, and everything that pertains to life uh, and godliness uh, in the name of jesus I decree that the scepter of God uh, is in my hand uh, and the rod of his righteousness is in my mouth uh, and at the gates of praise and thanksgiving uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, I thank you tonight uh, that my praise uh, has come back to me. Uh, I thank you tonight uh, that my praise has returned uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, I declare tonight, uh, I thank you for teaching me uh, how to profit how to prosper and how to prevail against my enemies uh, through praise and thanksgiving. Uh, I thank you uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I know take full uh, possession uh, of the gate uh, of my praise, uh, the gate of Judah. I proclaim it open continually and it shall not be shut forever in the name of Jesus. Uh, I position angels uh, of the Lord to guard uh, over the gate of my praise. Uh, and Lord, I thank you in advance uh, and I thank you with a conscious state uh, and I thank you for hearing me uh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Somebody say amen. Somebody amen. say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, I think. Amen. Amen. Glory amen. to your name, Jesus. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We got 12 more gifts, 11 more gifts to hope. We're opening all of the gates them tonight. And Lord, and Leah conceived and bear a son. And she called his name Reuben. For she said, surely the Lord has looked upon my affliction. And now therefore my husband will love me. We call this the gate of excellence. And we pray tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord, forgive me of any sin that will cause me to lose control of my sonship gate. In the name of Jesus, I pray tonight that the gate of Reuben will be open tonight. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I choose to honor her. Every person around me. I honor my parents. I honor my guardians. I honor my pastor. I honor the leader set above me. I honor the spirit of God in my life. I honor you, Jesus. I remain control of the sonship gate of Reuben now in the name of Jesus. Every demon that was standing at the gate of excellence, I cast you out now in 
into dry places. Uh, depart from here now. Uh, every spirit uh, that was blocking the spirit of excellence uh, from my family, uh, from my children, uh, from my life, uh, from this day, God, uh, I declare that excellence uh, will be upon my children. Uh, excellence will be upon my spouse. Uh, excellence will be upon me. Uh, on my hands, uh, the work of my hands uh, will see excellence uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I declare right now, uh, I shall live and not die. Uh, I declare uh, I will continue to grow and increase uh, and expand and enlarge in every era of my life in the name of Jesus. I decree that the excellency of dignity and power and might will continuously be my portion, that I shall be the portion of my life in the name of Jesus. I decree that I shall excel in everything that I do and in every era of my life, enjoying the super abundance of the bountiful goodness of God that the spirit of excellence uh, will bring into my life. Uh, I declare tonight uh, that the anointing uh, that will produce the excellent spirit in my life uh, will fall upon me now. Uh, it will come upon me now. Uh, it will come upon my work. Uh, it will come upon my marriage. Uh, it will come upon my friendship. It will come upon my children. It will come upon everything that I do uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I now take possession uh, of the gate of Reuben. Uh, I Proclaim it fully open and it shall not be shut forever. In the name of Jesus, I position angels of the Lord to stand guard at the gate of excellence, at the gate of Reuben. And Lord, I declare tonight, I shall prosper in everything that I do. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, Amen. Oh, oh, Amen. We're opening the gate of God, the gate of good fortune. And Leah said, a troop cometh, and she shall call, and she called his name God. Ah, oh, meaning a troop. Lord Jesus, let every curse of disfavor against my life be broken now. Oh God, I should have heard an amen right there. Let every curse of this favor against amen, my life amen. be broken now. Amen. The root cause of bitterness in my life be uprooted right now in the name of amen. Jesus. Amen. Every spirit from my background that fight favor, leave me now in the name of Jesus. The anointing that brings favor fall upon me, fall upon my house. Amen. My spouse uh, fall upon my children uh, in the name of Jesus and Amen. surround my life like a shield uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. I will embrace uh, the favor of God uh, that yes. will propel me uh, to the mountain top of prominence uh, in the Amen. name of Jesus. Uh, whether the devil likes it or not, I decree that I decree that I'll continue to increase in favor with God and with all men throughout this year in Jesus' name. I decree that by the favor of God, I'll prevail mightily over all my enemies, that I will become a mighty person of wisdom with wealth and power, with knowledge and understanding in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I now take possession of the gate of God. I proclaim it fully open and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus' name. I position, I position the angels of the Lord to guard my gate of good fortune. I declare the gate of good fortune open for you now and you shall prosper forever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
the gate of Asher, the gate of happiness. Amen. Glory to the gate of happiness. I don't know who this uh, is. Somebody needs to get the gate of happiness to open. It's been a while since you've really been Amen. happy. Amen. And Leah said, happy I'm high. For the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, every, every inherent curse responsible for hindrance in my life be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, every inherent curse responsible for the hindrance in my life be broken in Jesus' name. Every inherent curse be responsible for the inheritance, for the endurance of in your life be broken in Jesus' name. I decree, I declare, I decree and I declare all the results uh, that you desire, that I desire to come to us in the name of Jesus will come now. I decree <laughs> and I declare all the results uh, that I desire, that you desire to come to you, to come to me, will come to us now in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that whatever barrier that hinders may result uh, to frustrate you, to frustrate me, be removed from our way in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray again, uh, whatever barrier that hinders uh, our results to frustrate us, uh, to be removed from our way in the name of Jesus. Uh, let every evil power, uh, evil power planning to make us sad, uh, to be frustrated uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let it be removed now uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, I decree uh, that I am beloved uh, of the Most High God, uh, that we are beloved of the Most I got and greatly esteem and highly favored by him in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that you're super abundantly blessed out of the store out of God to share the joyful with others in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the bread. Your bread is fat, your land is fertile and flourishing, and you're healing royal dainties for the pledges of the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are prosperous and that I can dip my feet daily in the oil that produce unspeakable joy and gladness in your life in the name of Jesus. I say that one more time. I declare and I decree that you are prosperous and that you can dip your feet daily in the oil of gladness uh, that produce uh, unspeakable joy and gladness in your life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I declare uh, uncommon success uh, and good harvest in your job, uh, in your marriage, uh, in your health, uh, in your finance uh, and ministry. In the name of Jesus, uh, I know take possession uh, of the gate of Asher. I proclaim it fully open uh, and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus' name. Uh, I position the angels of the Lord to guard the gate uh, of happiness uh, and it shall prosper forever in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Father, yes. thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. God, Virginia, don't know the fire. The fire on these things. My God. Mm. There's a fire on them. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gates of Napoli, the gates of victory. And Rachel said, with great wrestling, have I wrestled with my sister and I have prevailed. I have the victory. So she called his name Naphtali, meaning I have prevailed or I have the victory. Heavenly Father, release grace upon our life that we may prevail over the powers of darkness in our marriage, our job, our health, 
our finance, our ministry in the name of Jesus. I paralyze every evil power raging war against our marriage, our job, our health, our finance, our ministry in the name of Jesus. All evil powers that has been fighting our life, you shall be utterly destroyed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear, I come against you now. Every spirit of intimidation, hindering us from attaining victory, get out of our life now in the name of Jesus. For the Lord is with me, according to 2 Chronicles 32 verse 8, in the name of Jesus, I decree that I'm full, that we are full of the blessings of God and satisfied with his favor in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that goodly and beautiful words are flowing unceasingly from my awesome tongue, which is a tree of life, bringing life and peace and prosperity to us, our own soul, and feeding the multitudes in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that sweet victory in the Lord is our portion, our daily portion in Jesus' name. I know we now take full possession of our gate of Naphtali. I proclaim it fully open and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus name. We position angels of the Lord to guard our gate of victory and it shall prosper forever in Jesus name I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Somebody just worship him. Somebody just worship him. Just worship him. Oh God, what a present. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And the gates of Manasseh. Ah. Mm. Genesis 40 verses 51 it says and Jesus, Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh for God said he had made me to forget all my toil and all my father's house it's the gate of restoration oh God Ooh. every evil power that stole anything from our lives I command you to restore it back seven times in the name of Jesus. I declare from this night forth, God, your people will step into a place of total restoration. That things they didn't even know they lost will be restored to them in the name of Jesus. I command the devil who has stolen their peace, their joy, their marriage, their family, their substance, uh, whatever it is, uh, it, <laughs> in the name of Jesus, let it be returned now in the name of Jesus. Their finance uh, to be really fully restored to them in Jesus' name. We, they receive it, we receive it back sevenfold. All that was stolen from us, uh, plus everything that is in the devil's own soul in the name of Jesus. Uh, Angels of the living God, search the land of the living and the dead and fully locate all my lost wealth and properties in the name of Jesus and bring them back to me, my dwelling place, in the name of Jesus. Let me declare that again over somebody. Angel of God, search the land of the living and the dead and locate all of our wealth that was lost, that was stolen, and our properties, and our relationship, and everything that, we, that was stolen from us, and bring them back to our dwelling place in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare 
that we are abounding with the hope of the Lord. And the Lord also shall restore unto us double for all our trouble. In the name of Jesus. I now take full possession of the gate of Manasseh. I proclaim it fully open and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus name. I position, I position angels of the Lord to guard my gate of restoration and I shall prosper forever in Jesus name I pray. Amen. And amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you Jesus. The gate of Simeon. Thank you, Jesus. The gate of hope and fulfillment. The gate of hope and fulfillment. And she conceived again and bare a son and said, Because the Lord have heard I was hated. And he had therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Simeon. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, tonight somebody is going to be fulfilled. Fulfill. It's time for you to have fulfillment. You can't keep working like this. You can't keep living like this. You are a beautiful woman. You are a strong person. You are, you are, you, no, 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 you, no, no, no. There are people who are terrible and them have it. And you're, you're wondering, no, 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 no. The devil's a liar tonight. Every curse of hatred and rejection following you from foundation, family line, or wherever be broken now in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come again. Every curse of hatred and rejection following us from my foundation and family line be broken now in the name of Jesus. Every Amen. demon assigned to turn the hearts of people against us be bound with everlasting shame in Jesus' name. I release Amen. the hearts of people to love. And to fear, oh God, I need to speak this. Oh, let me pray this properly. I don't want a person to miss it. I release the heart of people to love and to favor you wherever you go in the name of Jesus. I release the heart of people to love and favor us wherever we go in the name of Jesus. Every curse of hatred be broken from foundation in the name of Jesus. The curse of hopelessness that has been following us get out of our life now. Tonight is the last in the name of Jesus. And Lord, oh Lord, restore hope, restore joy, restore peace, and bring fulfillment in our life that will turn the hearts of even the enemies back to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree that we will live a very fulfilled, contented, and satisfied life because we have been ordained destiny in the holy mountain of God. In Jesus' name, we take position of the gate of Simeon. We proclaim it fully open and it shall not be shut forever. I position the angels of the Lord to guard your gate of hope and fulfillment and it shall prosper forever. You shall prosper forever in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The gate of Levi, the gate of, Levi, the gate of unity. And she conceived again and bare a son and said, No, this time will my husband be joined unto me because I have borne him three sons and therefore was his name called Levi, meaning to join or to unify. Oh God. Every spirit of this unity in my life, in our life, every spirit of this unity, be this grace now in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Every spirit of this unity 
in our life be disgraced now in the name of Jesus. Whatever caused people to reject us, whatever caused people to reject us, release us now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of confusion that has been troubling our life and the life of our family member and the life of our children depart right now in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as I carefully observe your word and keep your covenant and walk in the fear of you, let all my, let all our substance uh, be blessed. Uh, oh Lord, uh, as we faithfully serve you, we shall spend our days uh, in your prosperity and our years uh, in your good pleasure in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, uh, we thank you for dealing with us uh, so bountifully that we may continue to live in your presence uh, and keep all that you have commanded us uh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you for the blessing of our bread and water and removing sickness and disease far from our dwelling place because Lord and because you are faithful and our also take great delight in serving you Lord in Jesus name. We now take possession of the gate of Levi. We proclaim it fully open and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus' name. We position the angels of the Lord to guard the gate of unity and we shall prosper forever in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. The gate Jesus. of Issachar, the gate of reward. Jer Genesis 30, verse 18, it says, And Leah said, God has given me my heir. In other words, he has given me my salary. He has given me my pay. Oh, God, this is a declare for somebody special. Oh. Because I have given my maiden to my husband and she called his name Issachar. And the Bible says the sons of Issachar knew the times. They knew how to interpret the times. So they were a normal group of people. They were powerful. And because of this, Israel did nothing without them. Oh God, I declare over you tonight. That is, this grace will be your portion in Jesus' name. Every spirit of fruitless labor. Every spirit of fruitless labor, leave us now in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. 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 Every curse that hinders our reward at our workplace, in our ministry, in our family, in wherever we labor and it is not happening, be broken now in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. 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 We shall be rewarded for all the works that we have done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We will never Amen. work for free in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We reject profitless labor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, oh Lord, amen. we thank you for you are our shield and you are exceeding great reward in Jesus' name as we diligently seek your face and your hand in all matters concerning our life. You'll see to it, oh God, that we will be fully rewarded in Jesus' name. We take position of the gate of Issachar I proclaim it now fully open and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus' name. We position angels of the Lord to guard our gate of exceeding reward and we shall prosper forever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory. Jesus. Hallelujah. The gate of Zebulon, the gate of endowment, donation, and gift. And Leah said, God has endured me with a good dowry. Nor will my husband deal with me because I've born in six sons. And she called his name Zebulon. 
Mm, Jesus. I call forth husbands. I call forth spouses. I call them now in the name of Jesus that this will be your gift this year. That this is the gift that God will give to you this year. I stand on the holy place and I call forth. I call them forth. The Bible says, who shall declare and he shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass. I declare tonight any powers that in the good things from coming into our life be scattered in Jesus' name. Amen. Evil diverters of blessing. Paul said, I meant to come to you time and again, but Satan hindered us. Every evil diverters of blessing, I dismantle your works now in the name of Jesus. The curse of receiving, refuse, and overfollowing my bloodline be broken now. The Thank curse you, of receiving, refuse, refuse, and overfollowing my bloodline be broken now. That spirit that let me get only what people don't want, uh, riffraff, trash, garbage, uh, we come against that spirit now in the name of Jesus. Uh, I shall not receive the afterthought in Jesus' name. We shall not receive Amen. the afterthought in Jesus' name. Somebody no understand you know these prayers are for no you. Leftover. No more leftover. No more leftover. No more. No more bon bon. No more. No I decree and I declare that you will always be in the head position and not the tail in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I decree that you'll always at an ordained place of prominence and that you shall not remain in obscurity anymore in the name of Jesus. I called you from the back tonight in the name of Jesus, name of that Jesus. you will stand out yes. like Jesus. Hallelujah. You will stand out wherever yes, you Lord. are. The Lord will bless yes, the work Lord. of your hands yes, and you will be seen and be yes, seen by Lord. the right people in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus. Thank Every Jesus. veil that was placed over you will be Hallelujah. removed from tonight uh, in the Jesus name Lord. of Jesus. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We shall partake Hallelujah. of the abundance of the sea and shall have the treasures hidden in the sun in Jesus' name. Take full, full possession of the gate of Zebulun and I proclaim it fully open over you and for you and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus' name. In I Jesus position name. The of the Lord to guard your gate of good endowment, of good gifts, of good blessing, and I and you shall prosper forever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Genesis yes. 30, verse 24 says, And she called his name Joseph and said, The Lord shall have to me another son. The name Joseph speaks of prosperity, the gate of prosperity. Every curse of poverty that has been following me from my background be broken now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Every Amen. curse of poverty that has been following you from your background be broken now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Every mindset Hallelujah. of poverty that is in us, every mindset of oh. poverty that is in us, be reversed to prosperity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit of laziness that want to take us Amen. over be removed now. Every spirit Amen. of slumber and sleep that wants to bring poverty in our life be utterly destroyed in the name, Amen. Of, Amen. Jesus. name of Jesus. I disconnect ourselves from wrong association 
every negative yeah. mindset people, every poor thinking person, we disassociate ourselves from them uh, and the line of poverty in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every spirit of poverty that has been controlling the prosperity gate uh, in our life, uh, I command you now to depart uh, in the name of Jesus. Go to the pit, uh, go into dry places, uh, and never return. Uh, I shall not live in poverty. We shall not live in poverty. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. our family shall not live in poverty. In the name of Jesus, our children shall not live in poverty. In the name of Jesus, our ministry shall not dwell in poverty. In the name of Jesus, we receive the wisdom and the power of God to create good wealth and great wealth. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that we shall experience uh, the extraordinary increase uh, as many pipelines uh, of prosperity are open unto us uh, in the high places uh, in Jesus' name. I decree and I Amen. decree uh, Amen. that many ven ven avenues uh, for supernatural revenues uh, are open unto us as we operate in the cycle of the supernatural provision in the name of Jesus. Uh, I decree that every day in every way, you, I, everyone here will become more and more and more prosperous uh, as we believe uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, we take possession of the gate of Joseph. We proclaim it fully open and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus name we position the angels of the Lord to guard the gate of prosperity and I we shall prosper forever in Jesus name Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Glory to Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Glory to your name, Father. Jesus. The gate of Benjamin. Benjamin. The gate of authority. We have opened many gates, and now we're going to take the gate of authority, the final gate, to make sure that we have authority over everything. And it came to pass that as her soul was departed, she died. And that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin, son of my strength. Mm. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of failure in our life, I command you to leave now in the name of Jesus. The curse in our family line that does not support victory and success be utterly broken now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall trample over every enemy that comes against us in the name of Jesus. Every enemy that comes against us shall fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the mighty warrior fall upon our life now in Jesus' name. I decree that you will be vicious ferocious and warlike, showing no mercy to all the enemies of your peace, prosperity, and progress, tearing them apart and making them easy prey in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you tonight for the special love that you have towards us in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you for the special blessing that you have stored up for us and our own soul in Jesus' name. We now, Lord, take full possession of the gate of Benjamin. And I proclaim, oh God, Jesus. We proclaim it fully open and it shall not be shut forever in Jesus' name. We position the angels of the Lord to guard our gates of authority and we shall prosper forever in Jesus' name. Somebody just worship him.
Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Father God, we thank you. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, we worship you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to name Jesus. Glory to name Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I have declared unto your people mm -hmm. what you have given me to declare over them. I We have prayed tonight, God. There are some persons who will find it hard. They will say, it's not like that. I pray, oh God, I've, that you will help their unbelief tonight. Let testimonies come, God, as of the shift of the deliverance, of the breakthrough that took place tonight in this place. Because somebody was delivered tonight. Somebody was healed tonight. Somebody was loose tonight. Somebody got promoted tonight. Somebody got seen tonight. Somebody got discovered tonight. Somebody got some back money tonight. Somebody got something different tonight they have never received before. I pray they will have the courage to testify when it happened, God. Lord, make fool out of us with your testimony, God. Let us let us say, I couldn't, I don't be, I can't believe it. I don't understand what happened. What changed? What is this? Whatever it is, God, let them come and testify that something happened when it was done. Because we know something happened tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. 
Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. Amen. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Minister Hallelujah. Walker, are you available? Uh, who did you call? I'm sorry. Minister, Minister Walker. Oh, it's me. Yes. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to pray for the um, anniversary service next week. Pray for the speakers. Pray for the, um, all the persons that will be taking part. Everything that is there for it. Let's pray. I just pray, give utterance. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let me let me go out from this night. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus okay. Christ, the one true and living king, Yahweh, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the one Jehovah Nisi, mighty in battle, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Rapha, our Ela. Jehovah Shalom, you are the Prince of Peace. Father, there's nothing impossible with you or for you. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, you are just so magnificent, so majestic, so beautiful. Father Jesus Christ, no words can compare. Indescribable God. Father, as I come before you, Father, I'm just a vapor. I'm just like the grass of the field. Father, you know everything about me. Wash me, purge me, and cleanse me, and purify me. Lord Jesus, I make me fit for your use, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I place, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this upcoming anniversary, into your hands. Almighty God, you see everything, you know everything. Father, you know exactly how it should go. Father, so we're inviting your holy presence and your anointing. We're asking you, Abba, Father, to take full control. I pray, Almighty God, Lord Jesus, that you have already dispatched your angels to that site. And Father, that you have already dispatched angels, Lord Jesus Christ, to speak to your people's heart, Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that you're working on the cold, callous, hard hearts. Jesus, I pray that you're working on those ones that, Lord, the unsaved ones, the ones that are back sitting, the ones who, Jesus, they are on the fence, they cannot make up their mind. Father Jesus Christ, I pray, Almighty God, that you will saturate, Lord Jesus Christ, that, that, that region, that city, that state, the whole country under your efficacious blood, Almighty God. Father, I pray, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, would uh, we come up against that prince, Lord Jesus, those demons that are, Lord Jesus Christ, are placed over that region, Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God. I pray in the name of Jesus that your blood will cover your people, Almighty God, will blanket them, Almighty God. And I pray that no weapon that is formed against them will never, ever prosper, Almighty God. We bind the spirit of poverty of their lives so that they can, like, not only to afford to, to get there, Lord Jesus Christ, but, Father, that they can be free to worship you, Almighty God. Free, Lord Jesus Christ, to do what you have called them to do because many of them are bound up, Lord Jesus Christ, by the spirit of stagnation, lack, poverty. Lord Jesus Christ, their eyes are blinded, their hearts are blinded. Father, Jesus Christ, hear from heaven and answer us, your people. Jesus Christ, I pray, Almighty God, Lord Jesus, that people will hear about chosen and profitable ministry and what is going on there. And Lord Jesus Christ, they will come from the east, the west, the north, and the south, however they need to get there. Father, they will say, I need to go and see it. Lord Jesus, like when the Samaritan woman drop her pot and say, come see a man. Let someone, Jesus Christ, let one tell the other one. Lord Jesus, and I pray that it will be overflowing with souls. I pray, Almighty God, that all will be saved, Almighty God, and they will be calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who art in heaven. Let your will be done and hurt as it is in heaven, Almighty God. Pour out your spirit as they did in the day in the Acts, Lord, in Acts, when they said they were in one accord, and your the spirit came as a mighty Lord Jesus win. Lord Jesus Christ, go up and down, Lord Jesus. I pray that you sanctify, Lord Jesus, that place where it's going to take place. Sanctify the bench, sanctify from the rostrum to the pure almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sanctify, almighty God, I pray. From the rostrum to the pure almighty God, take full control. Father, touch the bishop, Lord Jesus Christ, the shepherd of the house of almighty God. 
Hodge first, um, Bishop Brian, Hodge, um, Lord Jesus Christ, all the ministers, Lord Jesus, every single one, Pastor Byfield, everyone that's going to be taking taking part, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray that whatever they touch, Lord Jesus Christ, will be anointed. Father Jesus, bless each and every one. Father, let every word, every every scripture father every thought every idea become under your subjection of the of your blood the blood of jesus christ father i pray that you almighty god will take full control and you will lead and you will guide and you will direct almighty god lord jesus christ of nazareth father rise up king jesus and take your place lord jesus Christ, you are iron lifted up. The heaven is your throne and the hurt is your footstool. Father Jesus Christ, there's nothing impossible for you. And Father, we're coming. You said we should ask, seek, and knock, Lord Jesus Christ. And you tell us that we should call to you. And tonight we come, Lord, and we are obeying your word. We are calling out to you because we need help. Lord, in humility of heart, we come, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, at your, the, the, the foot of the cross, Jesus Christ, and with hands and hearts lifted up to you, Jesus Christ, we're calling, Lord Jesus, for your help, Jesus Christ, for such a time as this. Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, you came to seek and to, 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 see, to save, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, the mission is, Lord Jesus, to save souls, to, to save souls, Lord Jesus. We can't do it, Jesus Christ, but we, Almighty God, we can go out there and we can seek, we can seek them out, Father, we can tell them about you, and then, Father God, you will convict their spirit, convict their heart, Lord Jesus, and that they will say yes to your will and to your ways, Almighty God, because your coming is for sure, and it's near, Almighty God, we keep saying it, but Father, it is near and you don't want not one of your people to perish so father jesus christ of nazareth father take full control provide resources almighty god because jesus christ of this ministry everything lord jesus christ needs money father nothing can go on without money everything lord jesus christ so god i pray for that you provide like divine helpers divine connectors lord jesus provide jesus christ then lord jesus christ People from the east, west, north, and south, Lord Jesus, let them, I pray for the spirit of kindness, Lord Jesus Christ, touch their hearts, Lord Jesus Christ, and let them say, yes, let me give to the Lord, Lord Jesus, and in return, Father God, I pray, Father, you said their reward will be in heaven, Father Jesus Christ of Nazareth, touch each and every one of us tonight that are here, and those who could make it, Father, and by extension, our family, especially the unsaved ones. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if there's anyone among us, Lord Jesus, even me, Father, that's not going on the right path, the narrow way. Father, spin us around 180, Lord Jesus, and help us to go back, direct us back on that narrow way, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, which is to eternal life, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise, Almighty God. Father, we thank you in advance for what you already done in Wakefield, in that region and in the surrounding region, in Jamaica itself, Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that, Lord Jesus Christ, that what's happening in Jamaica, we go to Haiti, we'll go to Cuba. It will just be a domino effect, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It will just so go, keep going and going and going, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It will just just keep going, Almighty God, like how your blood flow and it just keep flowing. Almighty God, Lord Jesus, let it be like that, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that many souls are saved and we thank you that you have already provided the resources. We thank you for your protection, Almighty God, Lord Jesus. God, the enemy is throwing darts because he does not want this to go on. But we silence that by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. We sprinkle everywhere with the blood of Jesus. I pray that when the enemy looks, he just sees bars of fire and he will not be Attack will be futile, Lord Jesus, and any age satanic agent, their arrow and darts and sword and snare trap and plan will return void and back into their bosom, 
Lord Jesus Christ. Let them be confused. Let them drop their pots and their pans and let them bend down and lift up their hands and heart to you, Almighty God, and say, yes, I want to be saved, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because you said, suffer not a wish to live, but Father, there are some people, they were initiated from, they were in the womb, and they have no control over that, Father, because sometimes they don't even know why they're in it. They're just, Lord Jesus, in it, and Father God, and they're just, they're captivated, they're captured, Lord Jesus, in a cage by the enemy, and the enemy, just as you promise us almighty God eternal life he's promising them all these things but his mission Lord is to kill steal Lord Jesus Christ and to destroy so father he's telling them all this to win souls for him because he's in complete competition with you but Lord Jesus Christ because everything you do is imitator he's fake so everything you do father he tries to copy you so father he promised them this and they are believing like we believe that you went to prepare a mansion back for us in glory they are believing because their mind they're deceived Lord Jesus Christ by is is this the alive like he did in the beginning with Eve, Almighty God. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, those who, Lord, are in a trap, they are bounded. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will help them to drop to their knees and to surrender and to repent of their sin and to turn like salt did, Lord Jesus. Let them turn around, Lord Jesus, so they can be saved. And those who are bent in evil and wickedness, God, you know their heart, Father. We send the spirit of death to them and their family in the name of Jesus because, Father, all they're there to do is to kill and to win souls for the enemy and that's not your plan. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, take full control now. Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise, Father. We worship you. Father, we pray that you touch each and everyone that is going to minister, Father. Remember them right now. Father, give them the word that you will have them to preach. Father, let them, no matter what, they will not divert. I pray against the spirit of diversion and distraction in the mighty name of Jesus. They will stick to that plan, the what you have called them to say, whether it's going to pierce whether it's going to make people mad, glad, sad, whatever it is, Father, let us hear the word so that we, Almighty God, can repent and we can turn from our wicked ways. Almighty God, it's not time to play. It's not time, Lord Jesus, to be covering and to and to be happy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Father. Jesus Christ, give us that strength, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, help us, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, take full control. Father, you are worthy, you are holy, you are righteous. Father, we're looking forward to you, the art and the finish of our life and our faith, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you now. We praise you. Father, as we're, Father, you didn't ask me to give the closing prayer. But Father, Lord Jesus Christ, at Nazareth, as we're about to leave this platform, Father, remember us. Cover us under your efficacious blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Cover us under your blood, your undiluted blood, the one that was shed on Calvary over 2,000 years ago. The one that, Lord Jesus Christ, when that lady touched the hem of your garment, she was made whole and you felt the virtue. The one, Lord Jesus Christ, has Nazareth, that raised Lazarus from the dead. The one, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth, that is here for us, you raised Jairus' daughter. Father, Lord Jesus, there's nothing you parted the Red Sea, a cloud by day and a fire by night. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the one who went into the fire, Lord Jesus, the fiery furnace, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one who did that, Lord Jesus, the one who went to the cross and died for us, Lord Jesus, took the nails in your hands and the feet, Lord Jesus, you were beaten, you were bruised, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, remember your people, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll cover us under that same precious blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and keep us safe from all harm and all danger, Lord Jesus, that we bind up every demonic animal every bird we clip their wings we bind and we blind their eyes with deaf their ears we we, we we destroy their sense of direction they will not find where we we live father we surround the perimeter and the heart the area father the grass the trees the atmosphere inside and outside of on the rooftop everywhere round and about father we cover the clothes the food father in the garage the cars Father, we cover the trash, everything, the gate, everything, Lord Jesus Christ. There was everything we sanctify under the blood of Jesus. No astral projection in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that when they come out of their body to go and travel, Father God, that they it will they will be interrupted and they will run real mad. 
Father, but Father, just for temporarily so that they will come back to their senses and say, well, what have I done? And they will come back to repent and love Jesus Christ so, so, to ask you for forgiveness so that their soul can be saved. Because in this ministry and everywhere else, it's not for us to call death, Lord Jesus, and people. But Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, have not heard that they may come and repent and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways and seek your face. Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all that you are doing. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for healing and deliverance. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for making a way where there seemed to be no way. Thank you for specializing in impossibilities. Thank you for raising up our faith in thee so we can move a mountain. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for going before us and led me in the mountains and made the crooked history. Father, thank you, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you so much for hearing and answering our prayer. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We thank you, Almighty God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that all those gates, Lord Jesus Christ, they are open unto us, Almighty God. We thank you that all the gates, Lord, those 12 gates that Bishop Nelson spoke about tonight, that they are open unto us, Almighty God. Father, anything that is in there in us, Lord, from, from those gate openings, because sometimes we are our own, Lord Jesus Christ, we are the one that's in there in our own self. So, Father, I pray that you will remove selves and remove everything that from us, Lord Jesus, because what he did was perfect, Lord Jesus, but so help us to receive it in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let our hearts, Lord, be like a fertile soil, Lord Jesus, to receive it in the mighty name of Jesus, to receive it in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' precious and holy name, we say amen and amen. Back over to you, Bishop. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Minister. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Adam Morgan is there, Sister Morgan? Yes, he is, sir. Hallelujah. Father Morgan, I want you to do the benediction tonight, please. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister, Minister Walker already prayed the closing prayer. So, Brother Morgan, can you please do the benediction? Number 6, verses 24 to 26. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Our benediction is taken from number 6, verses 24 to 26. And the readers, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and be gracious unto mm -hmm. thee and give thee peace. Have a peaceful night, everyone. Amen. 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 Have a blessed night, everyone. Remember, tomorrow is fasting. And then Bishop will be in Wakesfield in the morning and in the night. And then we will be back here Thursday night. Not sure what will be going on Thursday night, but we'll be back. And then, but tomorrow we will be with Bishop in Wakesfield from morning until night. Amen. Have a blessed night, everyone. And thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Blessed night.